In this video, I'm going to show you how to move files from one document library to another in SharePoint Online, and we're going to use PowerShell PNP for this. First, let's connect to the site. I'm using the Connect PNP Online, and I provide the URL for the site. Note that I'm not using the credential parameter because I've already put my credentials in the credential manager on my machine. Next, let's get a list of all the libraries that I have on this site. Run the get PNP list for that. And you can see from the output that I have a marketing library, I have a projects library, and also a sales library. And today we're going to work with some of those. The next in line is something very important to check. If you want to move or even copy some folders or files from one document library to another, think about those documents that you've shared with some other people. And from the moment you're going to move them, the link is going to be broken. So it's important to check a particular feature that is a site collection feature. So let's run the get PNP feature. And we're going to scope that to the site collection. The one that we are looking for here is the doc ID that you can see at the bottom of the list here. Now it's time to retrieve all the documents that we have in a particular document library. In that case, the marketing document library. We are going to use the field values property in order to get all the information that we need. And we're going to store everything into a variable called all docs. Now this is done and it's time to move the documents to the new document library. Provide the path for this new document library and store it in a variable. Here, my new document library will be the projects document library and I'll store that in a target lib variable. Then we're going to look through each item that we have and we're going to use the move PNP file commandlet, providing a few parameters like the server relative URL which is the source location and the target URL. And for that, we combine the path for the target library. And by using the item and the file leaf ref property, we are able to build an entire path. I'm also adding the force parameter because you don't want to be prompt for confirmation for each document that you're going to move. But before I run this command, let me just open the browser and put them side by side. Now what I have on the right side, is a few documents in the marketing document library. And we're going to move all those files into the projects document library. So I'm going to run the command and just pay attention to those documents as well. Now you can see that all the documents are actually gone. And let's verify that they've moved into the projects document library. And indeed, They've moved perfectly. Thank you for watching.